What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. If you like the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright guys, today, we're here because there's an event that I've kind of been waiting for, and it's summoning. I clicked on it, there it is. Double chance at rank 4s of the pure soul stones, but there is some missions just to summon out some uh, random 3-star creatures and like water types and stuff like that to get some more pure soul stones, and I'm ready for that. I'm very much ready for the summoning of things. We already, we even got, we even got a guild quest set up for it, and I feel special. Alright, so we've got to do a lot of summons here, and not really a ton. 540, but... We can probably do most of that. <laughs> what we got here, what we're going to do today is we've got seven legendary soul stones. All right, so that's going to be good. We'll do all of those on camera. We've got uh, 121, 121 epic soul stones. We're not going to do all those on camera. What I'm going to do on those is go through them, and as we get lightning, I'll bring in like the three and the four star units, because if I just did this all at once and showed every single soul stone, it would probably take like half an hour or longer, and that's just kind of boring, okay? Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the miners. I've got 125 shards and I guess three regulars. I'll probably open them off camera as well. They're not really important. They're just for fodder. Um, we do have 14 elemental soul stones, um, including these. We might do those on camera when we do the, uh, the peers, but... Got 48 pure soul stones already because, like I said before, Wrath's a dirty spender. I spend money sometimes because I, I just do. I do that sometimes. Um, but we had a couple offers pop up, at least one the other day, um, that was for like just seals. You use just your seals to buy the pure soul stones. Already had a lot of seals stashed away, so I went ahead and bought it. And the next day they came back, so I bought them all again, so I had 48. And it's fantastic. So I guess we're going to jump in and we'll do the epics first. So. I hate the shards. The shards are the worst. We'll do the regular ones first. <sighs> we'll do it like so. We'll do a couple of them here, and then we'll just start splitting out and going into the, uh, when we get the, the lightnings. The one thing, before we go, before we swap out and start doing some cutsies, this is why I hate shards. All right, you open them, then they've got to go together, and you got to wait, and then you get a tap open. Oh, we got lightning. Well, would you look at that? I take it all back. I love the shards. Water succubus. What is she all about? Ignoring defense. If they have positive effects, stuns them for two turns. That seems highly annoying. Um, negative effects steals up to 65% of the turn bar. Reusable in seven turns. That's pretty. That's a pretty long cooldown. Look at her almost half nakedness. Ugh. I tell you what. And a confusion. Seems like it might be a decent PvP unit. Um, not so much in the PvE realm of things, but whatever. So we're going to go through, open up all these deals, and as we get lightning, we'll bring you guys back in, and at the end, we'll do a buttload of the good stuff. All right? All right. Oh, we got lightning. We got it already. It's only like three in. Oh my god, we got lightning. We got a four star. Woo that was like three soul stones. Like I just stopped talking and there it is. Um, is. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this dude. Mainly his bombs. Attacks all enemies and decreases their speed for two turns. 90% chance of planting a bomb on each enemy that deals three times on attack after five turns. Kind of nasty. Um, attacks many inflicting great damage and explodes their active bombs. Oh my god, that seems really strong. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Like, we just started. Look, we have 84. We just had 88 or something. So, yeah, we, like, just started opening. That's amazing. Awesome. We got a four-star. I'm a happy dude. I'm a happy dude. Let's continue on here and see if we can't get some more hot lightning action. All right? All right. Oh, we got more lightning. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. We got a Kappa. I haven't messed with any of these guys yet. The frog people. Uh, I'm one of those people. Right? I don't go looking through all the units and like, oh, I want this guy, I want this guy. I'm more like, when I get them, then I'm like, okay, what does this guy do? That's kind of my way. Um, so let's look at this guy. Attacks enemies decreases their speed. That's not bad. And defense. That's actually a really strong support move. I kind of like that. Five turn cooldown. Don't know what the skill ups do for it. We might check that later. Um, decreases attack for two turns and increases their harmful effects by one. That's also not bad. When you can increase debuff duration, um, especially with things like Parasite, that gets really, really strong. Because Parasite, at round four, would hit freakishly hard. Not bad. I'm actually pretty into that guy uh, for a support-based unit. That's not bad at all. But we're not super far in. We're down to 70. <laughs> We've still got a long way to go. So we're going to continue opening up. Oh, my God. Lightning back to back. I take it back. We're staying. Oh, Fire Druid. I've already got her. I really like my Fire Druid. She's fantastic. Um, the two-turn immunity here is awesome. Speed, heal buff, decrease buff, uh, defense, uh, oh my god, defense, increase buff, 
Really solid support move with a pretty nice heal and a speed boost as well. Since regeneration, speed definitely helps. One of my favorite three-star units. I don't have many that are nat threes, but I like her. I like her. All right. Let's continue on. I can't believe that. Holy crap. Two lightnings back to back. All right. Back to the two stars now. Um, so we're going to cut to the next three slash four star that we do get. All right. All right. Oh, we're back. We're back with more lightning. And it's a blade dancer. I don't really think I've heard much about these dudes, but we'll look at it. Tax all enemies, 35% chance of preventing them from being revived. That's not super powerful. It is an AoE attack, though, so that's not terrible, I guess. Decreases defense of one enemy for two turns and attacks them, increasing crit damage. Mm, I don't know. Seems mediocre. I'm not super sold on him, but he's a three-star, so I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it, and we shall continue on looking for more delicious threes and fours. All right? Let's do it. And we're back with more lightning. And we're looking at a wind monkey. The Masarasu Masaru monk, I said. Words is hard. <laughs> but anyways, let's look at this dude. Attacks me with an attack increase based on own speed. Steals 50% of their life. 50% of their life? That doesn't seem right. That could be huge. You would steal like 10,000 health from something that's like glyphed up with health. I don't know if that's correct. Doesn't sound right. I don't know, increases the attack bar of all as by 15%, increases own attack bar by 25%. That's not bad, but I'm still kind of blown away by that steals 50% of their life. That doesn't seem right. That seems broken as balls. You could steal so much health from something, it'd be ridiculous. Um, whatever. Lowers turn bar of all enemies by 20%, 70% chance of putting them to sleep for one turn. That doesn't seem terrible either. Could be pretty decent. He might have some usefulness. I'll have to test that, uh... Steals 50% of their life business, because that sounds, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure about that thing. But anyways, let's continue on. We're down to 35 epics, not to count all the freaking shards we've got left to go through as well. So let's get to it. Let's continue on. Oh, we've got more lightning. We've got more, and we've got, ooh, the fire mini golem. Now, I wouldn't know anything about this guy if he hadn't been in the football cup not long ago. This dude's actually really trolly. He's got a passive here that increases the resistance, reflects 40% of damage, and he has a natural poison mail always on. It's super duper annoying when you fight multiples of this guy, because you just end up poisoning your own team to death. You ain't got immunity buffs or a really good cleanse, you're going to have troubles. Um, so definitely solid. Attacks me increasing, H, uh, increasing attack based on own max HP. That's always nice. Max HP scaling is better than max defense. Um, steals 25% of their turn bar and decreases their attack for two turns. That's not bad either. 65% chance of taunting them for two turns as well. So that actually pairs really well with him having a poison mail. If you're taunting people that now have to hit you, that's not bad. I'm actually pretty excited about pulling this guy, and I'm very interested to level him up and kind of see what he can do. He's a pretty cool three-star. So let's continue. Down 27 of these dudes, and then we've got, obviously, literal buttloads more, but uh, we're going, peeps. We're still going, and we shall continue. And more lightning is back with another fire druid. I tell you what, peeps, the fire druid stitch is real. So I've got some copies. Now, normally I'd throw them away, but I've heard things about upcoming having duplicates actually useful for something. So having a couple duplicates might not be a bad idea. So I'll definitely save her around um, to see what they end up doing with it. But for nowsies, it's kind of a little bit of a bust and a little bit of a sad face, but it's okay. Let's continue on, get to these last few soul stones and... Well, last few of the epics. And then jump into more exciting things like legendaries and peers. All right? All right. Oh, here we go again. And we got the Earth Holy Sister. This is the first Holy Sister I've actually ever pulled, so I don't really know much about them. Um, what's she dropping? Revives an ally with 40% HP and shelters him 40% incoming damage two turns. That's not bad. I can deal with revivals. That's not a terrible skill at all. Um, it can come really in handy, too. I tell you what, revival sometimes, it can be a thing. The only problem I've seen with revival is after a wave ends and you have a downed, in, uh, like a downed ally, they vanish so they can't be revived in the following round. That could be a little bit of annoying, but reviving them with a pretty decent chunk of health and sheltering from the incoming damage definitely gives them a good chance of surviving after the revive. Not bad. Attacks all enemies with 65% chance of decreasing their defense for two turns. That's a decent support move as well. Um, defense decreasing is definitely nice, but right now the current meta is mainly damage over time. 
Um, and that defense decrease doesn't help a lot with that. But of course, if you're one of those freakishly amazing people with actual damage dealers that are glyphed up, that might not be bad for you. Um, I don't know. She She's in the maybe category for me. I don't know. We'll see what she does. We'll see about it. But we're down to four of these suckers left, and then we've got a bunch more shards to do. So we're going to finish this up and be back. All right? Here we go. More lightning. What are we dropping here? The Earth Sphinx. Heard nothing about this guy. Um, attacks all enemies inflicting moderate damage and increases the cooldown of all their spells by two. That could be a little bit annoying. Maybe for a PvP build. Could be a thing. Um, attacks enemy inflicting great damage with an attack increase based on own speed. 50% chance of confusing them for two turns. I don't know. Could be alright. But, like I said, I haven't heard a whole lot about him. And, I mean, that doesn't seem bad. Huge cooldown on it. Seven turns. Um, but it could be okay. Like, for PvP, I can see that being kind of useful. Kind of annoying the enemy not being able to use their skills. Could be a thing. Potential build. So we're here in the shards. We've got a buttload of these to go, and they take for absolutely ever. Gotta wait for the whole entire animation. And then you gotta wait. And then you get to click. And it's, it's, it's a pain. It's a pain in the butt. But anyways, we're gonna continue on. And literally, we've got another <laughs> lightning already. <laughs> that was the exact same solstice I cut on, but whatever. Blade Dancer here, the fire one this time. What's he looking like? Double attacks enemy with an attack increase based on own speed. 50% chance of double attacking all enemies instead. Wow. That could be interesting. Um, that could be really interesting. Might be a decent farmer. I mean, double attacking all enemies would be amazing with lifesteal. You'd heal a huge amount. Um... Might not be bad. Attacks an enemy inflicting great damage and decreases their critical chance for two turns. Not super great. The great damage is nice, but decreasing crit chance isn't really huge. Um, I can think of a couple like, like maybe like in the Tower of Houses, decreasing the boss's chance to crit would mean he wouldn't get his shield, but I don't know, maybe for a farmer. The double attack all enemies could be really nice, but we'll see about that. I don't know a bunch about it. Anyways, 31 of these dudes left. Let's go. And we have more lightning with a Earth Druid. Or the Nature Druid? Earth Druid. Okay. Nature, Earth, Grass, whatever. You get the idea. So we got the Nature Druid. First time I've ever pulled the Nature Druid, what's she rocking? Generates all allies by 10% increases their defense uh, for two turns. Not bad. It's an AoE regeneration. But I don't know how strong it's going to get. 10% is pretty weak. Um, second skill here attacks all enemies inflicting moderate damage with an attack increase based on own max HP. 60% chance of lowering their turn bars by 25%. Might not be bad. A little bit of support and a little bit of damage since her attack scales with her HP. You could build her very tanky and maybe get some extra mileage out of her. Depending on how high this ranks up for her regeneration, it might not be a bad unit to build. Um, but 5 turn cooldown, that's uh, a bit rough. We'll see. Something we'll look at, maybe. But anyways, we're down to 18 of these shards. We still got a long way to go. And I've got a lot of editing to do. <laughs> but anyways, let's keep going here. And I'll bring you guys back in on the next lightning. And here's the next lightning. Rocking a unicorn full. This one's the fire one. And I've heard good things about fire. But I've never had one, obviously. Now we do. Um, so anyways, the first thing here. Increases speed of all allies for one. Turn refills their turn buys... Uh, Oh my god, turn bars by 20% and clears them of one harmful effect. That doesn't sound bad. I don't know if that gets scaled up to more harmful effects or a higher speed increase or whatnot. But that's kind of like what the uh, the Wind Unicorn does, but it seems a little bit weaker minus the turn bar refill. Attacks me inflicting great damage if attack is critical, stuns them for one turn. I don't know. I don't know. Depends really on how much the, uh, the cleanse is, because the Wind Unicorn at 2 star has a, a 2... Harmful effect removal. We'll see about that. Could be something to look into. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I heard good things for no reason. Or maybe I did, it's a good unit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about things. Let's keep going here. Lots more to do. All right, peeps. So we finished up all the epic fragments, all the epic soul stones. I have no idea how many creatures we actually ended up getting out of that at all. Um, but we're going to go ahead and move into the elemental soul stones. Then I'm probably going to have to go, like, cut the recording off and start again because... I've already been doing this for like half hour. <laughs> it hasn't been that long for you, but it has for me. Anyways, we'll jump in and do these, and then we're going to come out. I'm going to get all the event stuff on my new pure soul stones and such. And we got lightning. I got fire lightning. The Rakasha, the four star. Woo! Give it to me. I don't know if they're any good, but it's four star, so it's 
Got to be decent. Teams up with three other allies to attack an enemy. That sounds like a lot of attack. Um, 50% chance of transferring to them two of his own harmful effects and 50% chance of filling the turn bar of all allies by 30%. Doesn't seem bad. Doesn't seem terrible. Attacks an enemy inflicting great damage and increases their attack for two turns, then steals two beneficial effects from the enemy. That could also be kind of annoying. Not bad. He looks like he could be pretty decent. He's a four-star, though. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. That's hot. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Water Soul Stone. We do have a lot of shards as well here, but, you know, whatever. It's going to be a two. Nothing special there. Ugh. Twos are just, uh, they're everywhere. I have so many two-star units right now, it's kind of ridiculous. Going to be the same thing there. Another two. And now we're into the shards. Let's see if we can get something delicious out of another one of these fires. You know what I'm saying? Worked out before. Can it work out again? No. No, it cannot. At least not on this one. But can it work out on this one? We got four chances. We got four chances. So let's see. I mean, I can't be upset. We did pull a four-star already. And we got lightning, so that's a good sign. And we got the Fire Cyclops. I don't really know anything about the Cyclops units. Increases the duration of the enemy's negative effects by one. If your HP is below 20%, protects all allies from any non-sticking source of damage for one turn. Is that only if they hit him? It increases their negative effects? Because that could be kind of useful. That could be pretty useful. Um, attacks enemy with a huge attack. A huge attack. That's really high damage. Increased base on own defense. That's not quite as good. Removes up to four of their positive effects and lowers their turn bar at the cost of 20% of your own HP. Uh, I don't like the losing your own HP stuff. But it's a thing. It's a thing. The passive could be interesting. We'll see about that. Um, anyways, we got a couple more of these to go. Let's do them. Let's do them and see what we get. Like a so. And that's going to be a two. Fire Basilisk. Got plenty of those. Got so many two stars. It's ridiculous right now. The two star situation is absolutely on lockdown. And there we go. Fire snake fly. Those are done. Let's move over and knock out our water stuff. A lot of good units in the water category. Of course, there's a lot of good units in the fire category too. But let's see if we can pull a three plus. That's going to be a two. Water golem. I don't know anything about that guy. Um, can't be that great or I would know something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, perhaps, could be a thing. More two stars. Water stone guard. He's actually pretty decent, but... You know, I've never used mine. I've got three of them, I think. <laughs> Whatever. It's thing. Another nothing. We'll grab that dude and move over here to the Earth Soul Stone. We only got one of these. I used some of those up, I believe, in the Football Cup to finish out the Earth Summons. But whatevs. No Lightning again. Earth Ghost. You're a thing. And now we've got three of these to do. And we'll go grab our stuff. And we'll come back and do our Legends and such. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Nothing special there. Another two. Not super excited about these guys. They haven't been going super well, other than the super awesome four-star, and I guess a three-star as well. So I guess they went okay. They went okay. I can't complain. No complaining will be done today. All right, so let's do this. Last one here. Eeny, meeny, miny, done. And no lightning. Way to just end it with a bang, um, at least for those. We still got a lot of uh, peers and the legendaries to do, but our events have been quite done. Let's go ahead and grab all these out. Shards, shards, shards. Soulstone, soulstone, soulstone. And the shards. And more shards. And even more shards. So we've completely finished out the entire event here. Um, which gives us a decent amount of stuff over in the summoning area. That is not what I wanted, game. Did it come back? Did I get the... Uh, ooh, what is this? Arcane, fiery material, fire material, magical books, energy, and crystals. Could be something I might do. Maybe, perhaps, we'll see later. Um, but, what does that bring us to? We still got the seven legendaries. And now we've got... 57 of the Supreme Soul Stones. So we're going to do... Or the, not the Supreme. I, if I had 57 uh, Supreme Soul Stones, I'd be crying. But we've got the pure. So we're going to do these, but I've got to cut right now for recording purposes. And we're back. You might wonder why I have to cut at 30 minutes instead of recording. It's because something weird with my phone's recording system. If I go too far over 30 minutes, it like... It just cuts it off by itself. Doesn't even tell me anything. It's like, up oh, there you go. And then I've got to like, you know... It's kind of annoying. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up all of these, I guess, go ahead and do them on camera because they're the special ones, right? They've got twice the chance of being four-star units. We'll start here with the shards because I don't have many of them. And the first one up here looks like probably going to be a two-star. That's right. I assume these things give lightning if they're going to be three. They're freaking huge. They're freaking enormous. And that's not showing lightning. Okay, so I think that's how it's going to go. I mean, I'm not seeing lightning. It's probably nothing great. But we've got... 50 plus of these dudes. Oh, here we go. That sounds good. Sounds like an Earth Pixie. I've used the Earth Pixie. My biggest gripe with her is she uses her heal as a speed buff. Um, however, it is a three-turn heal with three-turn speed buff on a four-turn cooldown, I believe. So it's 
really not bad that she uses it as a buff, but it's kind of an annoyance because she can use it when you really don't need it at all, and then you're kind of screwed. Um, but whatever. Not a huge deal. There's the Earth Pixie. We've got our first three star out of these. Feels good. Oh, actually, I probably should check the stats on these for you guys. Just because it'd be a thing. There's a two star, but um, on these, I guess we'll go back over here and check these out while we're here. You've got an 8% chance at a three star and a 0.6% chance for a four star. Um, on the piers over here on this area, you've got a 10% chance for a three star, so it does go up a little bit and a one point. Oh, that's not double the chance. It is double the chance. Math is hard. 1.2% um, <laughs> chance for a four star. So the chances are doubled, but they're still not a huge chance. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and open all these up, and then we're going to move into the legendaries and hopefully get something fantastic out of those as well. Another two-star looks like. Earth Ghost. It's going to be a lot. A lot of summons have gone on today. My bag, I don't know if your bag has a limit on creatures, but I'll be getting close. <laughs> all right, it's, it's going to be a thing. I'll be definitely close to it. So 51 of these dudes. Let's go ahead and make things happen. Nothing special there. Hope I don't get screwed. If I go through all 50 of these and only get one three-star, I'll be an upset dude. I'll be a very upset dude. But, of course, if I get one four-star, I don't even care. It's totally worth it. Even if it's a bad one, I'll feel okay. So here we go. Lots of two-stars. But that's to be expected. They're like, what, 89% of the time you're going to get a two-star unit. So kind of got to deal with it. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I was actually kind of low on two-stars before um, for, like, you know, fusion purposes and making my rank it up foods. I was running low on copies. And now we've got some hot lightning action. And we've got an Earth Jackal Man. This is the first Jackal Man I've ever had. And he's a four-star, so it's got to be good, right? It's got to be good. Attacks an enemy increasing it, uh, attack based on the enemy's HP. That's kind of cool. If the enemy is affected by a polymorph, will be cursed, disabling 50% of their HP for two turns. Wow. If the enemy's HP is lower than 40%, will prevent the enemy from reviving for two turns. That doesn't seem terrible. I don't know if that works on bosses. Can you polymorph a boss? I don't believe so. I feel like it'd be kind of cheaty, but you might be able to. Attacks an enemy, increasing the attack uh, damage based on the enemy's HP, and polymorphs them, converting them into a critter for three turns. I like the way they use critter. That's a good word. A um, lot of heavy cooldowns, though. Seven turns and five turns, a lot of cooldowns there, but he's a nat four, and I'm happy with that. It's cool beans. We got 45 more of these to go. Can we snag another one? Can we? We've already gone through the odds, you know what I'm saying? We've already got a four star in, like, what, Five or six openings, seven openings. Not many openings. All right, and it's one percent chance, so I feel good. I feel good about the Earth Jackal Man. Um, cursing fifty percent of someone's HP off. That seems really strong. But like I said, if you can't polymorph a boss, which I don't think you can, that would be kind of rough. Um, that could be really cheese worthy. <laughs> like you could take down a boss incredibly fast. And here comes some more lightning. What are we getting here? Oh my god, the Fire Diva! I've heard good things. I've heard very good things about the Fire Diva, and it's another 4-star. Oh my god. We haven't even opened that many. That feels great. Um, poisons all enemies twice for 2 turns. Oh my god, that's so good. Um, and decreases their attack for 2 turns. 25% chance of getting another turn. Holy crap. That's OP. That's freaking crazy. Oh my god. I'm in love. I'm in love with the D.Va. Attacks all enemies and bursts their active... Po Are you serious? Doing 125% extra damage. 75% chance for preventing them from receiving healing effects for two turns. That is stupid. This unit is retarded good. Um, so that's awesome. I'm definitely okay with how that turned out. Holy wowzers. That's tough. That's really tough. Not only double poisoning, but then bursting those poisons... That's cool. That's really cool. Apparently, that's why you hear about the Fire Diva. She's freaking crazy. Um, like I said before, guys, I don't like scroll through the menagerie or whatever it's called. The bestiary, bestiary, whatever you call it, I don't know. And look at units I don't have. Um, the way I see it, you look at the unit when you get it, and then you can build it. Because if you ain't got it, it doesn't help you any. Oh my god, another four star. <laughs> I feel bad, because I know somebody out there is doing the same thing I am, and they're not getting any luck, and I feel like a dirty craphead because it's happening. First dragon looks awesome. I haven't heard great things about the, the earth dragon, um, but I don't really care. Grant self-invincibility against all sources of damage and body shield to all other allies for two turns. That's actually not bad for a defensive unit. 65% um, chance of muting all enemies for one turn. That's not bad. I mean, a seven-turn cooldown's a little rough, but invincibility seems quite strong. That'd be a nice little tank for your team. I can see that actually being pretty useful. Attacks an enemy with a uh, damage increase based on own max HP. That's not bad. If attack is critical, heals all allies by 20% of own max HP and stuns them for one turn. 
Hmm. Usable in three turns. That might not be bad at all. I can see this guy being pretty freaking decent. I don't know why people said this guy was bad. Maybe he got changed or something. Because I'm reading that and I'm saying, hey, well, his crit chance is absolute butthole. 15%. That'd be hard to build him with crit. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's a potential. It's a four star, so I don't really give a crap. All right? You know what I'm saying? I don't give a flying crap. Let's keep going here with these. I still get three four stars already out of the peers. That's ridiculous. That's at 1% chance. I feel like I've really denied the odds here. We probably won't get another four star the whole time. And by rights, we shouldn't. I can't even be upset. If we don't get another four star the entire thing, even from the legendaries, I can't be mad at all. Another Holy Sister of the Earth who got that earlier, um, so no reason to stop and talk about her again. Let's keep going here. More two stars. I cannot believe it, guys. Three four stars, and the Fire Diva is just... Holy crap. That seems crazy. I'm super excited for the Fire Diva. She will absolutely get getting uh, be getting built. It's going to be a thing. Let's continue on here. Open up these hot bunch of two stars. Like I said, at this point... There is absolutely no way you can even naturally be mad with all the luck we've had. It's it's pretty amazing. I'm super happy with it. So we could end things right here, and I'd be a happy dude. I'd be a really happy dude. Oh, that one. Sometimes it does that. If you click over too far on the right of the screen, it'll just automatically open the soul stone. you got to tap the middle first, and there's lightning. And kablawi. Ooh, the water tree. Whee! I've heard good things. I've heard good things about the water tree as well. Increases defense of all allies for two turns, grants them poison mail for two turns, and regenerates them by 15% for three turns. That's really strong. Poison mail is a fantastic thing, especially against bosses that hit all of your team. If your boss hits everyone on your team, they can statistically get five stacks of poison, and that would do a butt lot of damage. So really, really cool. Um, the second skill here attacks an enemy based on own... Uh, Attacks an enemy based on own defense. So I guess damage increases based on defense. Bursting their active poisons, dealing 125% extra damage, and poisons them for two turns. So, this guy's pretty good. This guy's pretty good. I'm really happy pulling the water tree. Um, that's awesome. That's at, Oh my god, guys. My luck is just... I feel bad. I feel bad about it because I know. I just know somebody else out there is doing the same thing right now. And they're like, oh my god, these souls don't suck. All I'm getting is two stars. And here I am just crapping out good units left and right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be this way, but it happens. Um, anyways, I guess we can show you guys that little glitch. Like when it shows up tapped open, if you click over here on the right, it immediately opens it immediately. Like there's no little animation at all. But for you guys, I want you guys to see the lightning. So we're going to click here, and there's a lightning, like I said. I wanted you guys to see it, and the Fire Witch. I've had her before. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. The AoE mute's not bad, but it takes 40% of her health to do it. That attack, if it's going to attack all enemies costing 40% of her health, it needs to be attacks all enemies dealing huge damage, not attacks all enemies and mutes them. Not super great. I fed mine out almost immediately. She wasn't worth it. Both of her attacks are AoEs, which is nice, but... At the cost of 40% health, I can't justify. Maybe you could counter that with lifesteal, but to me, I didn't see a lot of use in her, and I still don't. <laughs> Someone out there, if you are if you built the Fire Witch and she's working hot for you, let me know. But the way I'm seeing it, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the hype, all right? Not feeling the hype at all. So there's 15 of these left, and then it's on to the hot legendary soul stones. And who knows what we can get from that. We might get nothing, but we might get something as well. You know what I'm saying? Could be something. I'm so excited, guys. Freaking Fire Diva with the Water Tree. That's going to be so strong together. Oh, my Wrath 10 team just got way easier to build. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been running Wrath 10 now, but I still lose occasionally. I don't think I'm going to lose with those guys. So anyways, here we go. More Lightning. Another Fire Mini Golem. Um, I don't know. Running two of those guys together might be really annoying with that Nastro uh, Poison Mail. Could be a thing. We'll see. Could be a troll PvP team or something. We'll mess around with that. But anyways, let's go ahead and knock out these last nine of these deals. And then we're on to the legends. The legendary soul stones. Now, I'm sure somebody out there is probably wondering, Wrath, how in the dong piece did you have so many soul stones? Um, I haven't opened a soul stone of Epic Plus since um, the last 150 summon quest that was like right when the game launched globally. I save them. I'm a compulsive hoarder. It's just what I do. Um, I like it. I like to save on to things. It's, it's my jam. But 
Um, for all the extra shards and stuff, you might wonder, like, how the balls you have so many minor soul stones and shards? We had an event not long ago that gave, like, double the chance of getting shards and double the amount, and I did a lot of stuff there. Um, Water Felicor, not bad. I've already got one. He's not a bad step up if you're using, like, a regular poisoner, like the, uh, the Earth Basilisk or the Wind Assassin. He has an AoE poison that also prevents people from receiving healing effects for three turns. It's really not bad. It's actually pretty useful because you stop people from healing. That's really handy, especially on things like the uh, Wrath boss who has a heal with one of its attacks. It's not a bad thing. Definitely not bad. And the second attack is going to be a full turn bar lower, so it drops their attack bar by 100%. Um, that's not bad either. Um, decent unit to step up with, but the Earth Felicor is definitely better, and the Earth Necro has done a whole lot better for me. But still, not a bad 3-star. I've already got one. Actually, I have one max skilled up already. Um, ooh, Lightning back-to-back. Woo! -back. And another Wind Blade Dancer. We got this guy earlier. Nothing to write home about there, but it's thing. So here we go. Last couple. Last one, I said. Let's see what we can get at the last pure. No Lightning. Sad face, but it's done. We have done all the pure soul stones that we can do. Over 50 of them, and now it's time, peeps, to finish it up with the legendaries. So we're going to go in here. We got seven of them. Legendaries have a 10% chance to drop four stars, so statistically, we should maybe get one. But you never know. Our luck has been stupid. And I can't even argue about anything at this point. It's been so ridiculous. Oh, my God. These are all going to be lightning, I assume, because they're all three plus. Water Monk. What's the Water Monk all about? Let's find out. Decreases defense of all enemies and increases attack of all allies for two turns. That's not bad. That's actually pretty decent support. Um, attacks at me inflicting great damage, 65% chance of stealing 30% of the turn bar. Not bad. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, pretty trolly stealing turn bars. It can be a thing. Uh, if you guys know about the Air Basilisk, that's kind of what he does, but it's you know tied to crits. I don't know. Could be a decent unit. We'll see. We shall see. I feel like the the legendary soul stones are darker purple than I would think they would be. Maybe I'm just, like, on crack or something, but they look dark. Ooh, the fire holy sister. Is she good? I don't know. We shall see. Revives an alley with 100% HP and refills their turn by 75% increases their defense for three turns. That makes the earth one look kind of like butt. Um, <laughs> a little bit like booty. Um, it is a long, re, uh, a long turn. Seven turn cooldown. That's a lot of cooldown. But whatevs. Attacks enemy inflicting great damage, lowers their turn bar by 50%, and decreases their attack for three turns. That's not bad. It's a pretty decent support unit. I'm alright with that. I can get on board. Definitely on board with that unit. So let's continue on here. Number three, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get lightning, that's for dang sure. And it's a fire bright fawn. Hmm. Heals all allies by 25% of own max HP and increases their defense for two turns. That's actually pretty solid. I'm all right with that. That's a burst heal. That's not regeneration over time, and that's really nice against enemies that, like, block healing, because if they block healing, you, you have regeneration on, it actually cancels out your regeneration, or if they have that on, you pop regeneration. It's it's not good. So that's that's not bad, just a straight burst healing and an increase on the defense, so if you build this one with a lot of HP, that heal's going to be pretty big. That's not bad. Attacks enemy inflicting great damage, 60% chance of both decreasing their defense and preventing them from receiving healing, healing effects for two turns. I can get behind that. It's not as good as like a speed debuff, I don't think, or anything, but not bad. That heal seems pretty good. We'll have to look into more of that later. Here we go. We've got a couple more of these left. Can we get a nat 4 out of it? Will it be a thing? We shall see. We shall see. Obviously, more lightning, because it's going to be a thing. It's a thunderstorm going on. Ooh, the ice dragon. Ooh. Ooh. I've got the ice basilisk, who is arguably a little better in some ways, but obviously worse than others. Um... This one's got an AoE freeze, um, completely empties our turn bar, and freezes for one turn. <laughs> That's really trolly. It is on a six-turn cooldown, so it's kind of balanced out a little bit, but the Earth, uh, the Ice Basilisk has the same thing-ish. There's no turn bar reduction, but it's a two-turn freeze on a four-turn cooldown, so it's not bad, but it's definitely decent for PvP. Um, crowd control is always nice. Second attack is also going to attack all enemies, inflicting great damage, and decreases their defense for two turns. That's really strong. Oh my god, I have so many nat 4s now. My, my mind is blowing up. I love it. It's so great. Ah, happy face. Happy faces have been equipped, peeps. Everybody just needs to calm down. Here we go. Open this sucker up. More lightning, of course. Thunderstorms going on in here. And another fire cyclops. Got that one earlier. Nothing super exciting there. And here we go. The last two. The last two. Let's open. Let's open and see what we can get in the last two legends. 
the Air Kappa. Ooh. They look kind of cool, like little frog turtles kind of ish, maybe, perhaps. Could be a thing. Attacks all enemies and marks them as hunted, amplifying incoming damage for two turns. Then marks all allies as protected, sheltering them from 40% of incoming damage for two turns. That's actually pretty freaking good. That's 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 not bad. It's going to boost your damage done, but also decrease damage taken. Not bad. Attacks the enemy increasing the damage or attack based on own speed and prevents them receiving any buffs for two turns. That's also really good. I like that. This guy could maybe replace my Win Unicorn in the uh, Wrath Dungeon. I don't feel like I need the uh, the cleanse as often as I would need uh, more of the sheltering. Could be a thing. I like that. Why has it got Zs on there? You'd think it'd put somebody to sleep. But it doesn't. Anyways, we'll take it. Last one here. Let's see what we can done did get. And it's going to be... The Water Druid. I don't have the Water Druid, so let's look at her. Heals all allies by 400 HP. That is not much. <laughs> With the effect increase based on own max HP. That's better. I can handle that. And also increases their defense for one turn. I assume that's going to skill up to at least two turns. And also the heal getting buffed a little bit as well. But if you build her tanky you get a really good heal. And again, this is a burst heal. It's not going to be a heal over time, which is actually kind of nice. Second skill, heals an ally by 10% and heal... Okay. Heals them by 10%, so a burst heal, and then regenerates them by 15% for two turns. So a very heal-based unit here. AoE heal and single target heal. That doesn't seem bad at all. But there we go, guys. We have gone through 120 epics, 50 pures, like 14 elementals, and 7 legendary stones. A freaking ton of opening has been done today. It's crazy. We have 99 plus new creatures. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a lot. What did we end up getting in that 4 territory? Uh, that's 5. That's not 4. That's 4. There we go. Um, so we ended up getting... Let's look over in this area. The Fire Iron Her Yard Giant, I said I lied. Um... Looks really solid with the bombs. I'm actually pretty curious to see what he does. I don't want to go too long here because it's already been like a super long video. But maybe we'll make a video on these guys later, like going through each one of them. The Fire Diva, I'm super excited for. Um, both dragons, two dragons stats, so exciting. I love dragons anyways. They just look so cool. I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy dude. Ah, oh, It's a good day. It's a good day to be alive. We got quite a few Nat 3s as well. Scrolling down in this area place, we got two of the Cyclops, the Blade Dancer, some more Fire Druids, the Fire Holy Sister, which seemed pretty decent, um, the Fire Mini Golems, which I'm pretty interested in, actually, and uh, we got a lot of crap. We got so much crap, but I'm pretty excited about this dude for sure. Yeah, it's been a good day, but that is also going to be it for today. Let's back out of there. Did we not finish any up any achievements? No summon achievements got finished. Are you serious? We summoned a buttload of crap, but anyways, it's okay. I'm okay with it. Oh, it's probably the guild quest. We can check there, see how much of the guild quest we got done. It's 69% completed. Let's go ahead and just grab all those instant tickets and XP. What's our participation looking like? 203. So we did 203 summons. That's what we did. And I still have got over 100 in miners to do as well. So that's awesome. But anyways, peeps, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button and show your support if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well and tell your friends about it because that definitely helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one.